So are you thinking about buying a home in Noblesville, Indiana? Well, today I'm gonna to share 12 things people love about Noblesville. And number nine will absolutely blow your mind. Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. If it's your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Noblesville, Indiana, or central Indiana for that matter, then hit the subscribe button below, tap the, uh, the bell icon so you'll be notified of each new video that comes online. And that way you'll be the first to learn what's happening in the market and which fabulous house just came on the market. Whether you're looking to move in seven days or seven months, give me a call, text, email, or book a call. We're happy to help you make the best move of your life. Okay, let's get started. Number one reason for why people are moving to Noblesville, Indiana and why they love it. Well, hey, when I walk around, I get a small town feel. And that's true even though Noblesville is just 23 miles northeast of Indianapolis, the state capital. In 1824, it was made the county seat of Hamilton County. And Hamilton is now the most prosperous county in the state. The small town feel starts with the town square. Yes, it has one. It's got the courthouse there, the original 1879 courthouse. And then it's got a government building and the other three uh, sides of the square are all vibrant businesses. Uh, it's not like some places where everything's boarded up. These are all filled. In fact, they're filled for a few blocks past that. The courthouse was built in 1879. Natural gas was discovered a decade later, and that sparked a building boom. And you'll see classic homes built around the downtown square. And each decade, they built back another block or two, and you can see that now too. Something like two dozen of these classic homes, along with the county courthouse, are on the National Register of Historic Places. The population is now 70,000. That's double from two decades ago. And it's now the state's 10th largest city. Yeah, I know, that doesn't equate very well with small town feel. But I guess you'll either have to trust me on that or come check for yourself. The number two reason I have is education. There's 50% higher percentage of college graduates than the state or national average. And there's a significantly higher percentage of professional and graduate degrees as well. And while we're on the topic of education, let's talk about schools. Noblesville sports 10 schools, seven elementary, two middle schools, and one high school with an enrollment of 3,116 students. Now that's 2,400 students less than a neighboring big school, okay? And from personal experience, I can attest that when it comes to high schools, big is not always better. Yes, there's more opportunity, but there's loads of people to fill those spots. Let me just say, it's very easy for a kid to get lost in that kind of environment. I've had a number of kids and stepkids that attended those big schools. Some thrived greatly, some got skipped over, then blossomed in college and beyond. When it came time for my youngest to go to high school, I elected to pay to send him to a much smaller school. He was successful there, he was successful in college, and now he's successful in his professional and family life. The takeaway, it's not that one is better than the other, it, but it is that one size does not fit all. So listen to your gut when you make these kinds of decisions. My team and I have actually taken the time to create the ultimate relocation guide. The guide is 100% free. Just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Okay, let's talk Noblesville High School. 97% graduation rate, 46% of those with honors. It's A-rated by the state and it's nationally recognized. Also, there's St. Uh, Theodore Guerin High School with an enrollment of just 800 students, and it consistently ranks in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the nation. Number three is healthcare and hospitals. The city served by Riverview Hospital and has been for over 100 years. In 1909, it became the first hospital in the state to be owned by the county. A rarity in today's world, it's run by a nonprofit that is county owned. It has a full service 160 bed operation and has 25 additional ancillary service buildings around the community. And if you go one town over in every direction, you'll find hospitals and many other facilities that belong to the IU Healthcare and community and Riverview itself and the Ascension systems. Um, and in fact, community just built a new hospital here in Noblesville. These hospitals include all kinds of specialty hospitals. I mean, you've got women's hospitals, children's hospitals, cancer hospitals, heart hospitals, and about anything else that you can think of. Number four, 
talk jobs. The top employer in the city is school systems. Manufacturing and healthcare are not far behind. Unemployment is below the state and national average. Furthermore, as far as jobs go, you can stay to a 25 minute commute and you can venture to any neighboring community, Carmel, Fishers, Westfield, uh, and even Indianapolis for all kinds of employment opportunities. The median household income in Noblesville is 89,000. That's 50% larger than the state average and about 30% larger than the national average. Number five is traffic. Everyone wants to know about the traffic. And sure, everybody's got traffic, but mainly the traffic in Noblesville is when you hit I-69 traveling south into Fishers or Indianapolis. Because otherwise you've got state roads 37, 32, 38, and 19 that run through it and can take you wherever you want to go in reasonable fashion. I'll tell you how bad it isn't. When I'm driving through Noblesville and I get caught in a cone zone for 10 minutes, I complain to high heaven. The traffic in Noblesville is not Chicago traffic. Heck, it's not even Indianapolis traffic. Number six, I like to think of traffic in terms of access. You can live in Noblesville and be five minutes to I-69, 30 minutes to I-70, I-74, and I-65, and just as little as 15 minutes to I-465, the Beltway. From there, you can get anywhere. My wife drives 500 miles a week, every week, throughout central Indiana. She needs to be near I-465. It's that simple. We're 15 minutes away from 465, and it works. One thing about Noblesville, you can get there from here. Whether you're talking jobs, healthcare, activities, restaurants, shopping, that go beyond what Noblesville has to offer, you can get there from here. And that's true of day trips and weekend getaways as well. You can get there from here. Number seven, let's talk restaurants and shopping. You can find an abundant supply downtown on the square or out along Highway 37 in the strip centers or down at Hamilton Town Square, which is a walkable outdoor mall, if you will. There's plenty of it and it comes in all shapes and sizes. If you don't see what you like, well, you can get there from here. There's more restaurants and services within a half hour's drive than you'll ever walk through the front door of. Plus, there's seven golf courses, a farmer's market, hiking, fishing, boating, and more. By the way, if you're on the square, check out the Grindstone Public House and try the pickle brine chicken. When the waitress first suggested that, I kind of gave her the, you know, eye roll thing, you know, but hey, it really was good. And it's been good every time since. Number eight, when it comes to, you can get there from here, there's also a vacation version. Hey, you can get on a plane. The Indianapolis airport is easy. You just pull up, drop people off or pull up and pick them up. It's just easy. You don't have to worry about running through three terminals with your bags, you know, like this and sweating and all that. No, you just walk around. It's easy. Or hey, you can drive to Chicago, St. Louis, Cincinnati, Columbus, Nashville, Tennessee, all in less than a half a day. Last month, we drove to Florida. We stopped in Nashville, Tennessee on the way down the first night so we could enjoy live music on Broadway. And then on the way back, we did it in one day. We were up at seven, home by eight, and that was pulling the boat. Yep, you can get there from here. Before I get to my final four reasons why people are moving to Noblesville, if you're considering Noblesville or central Indiana and want to know how to make this the best move of your life, all my contact info is listed in the comments below. Text me or book a call and I will personally give you my undivided attention. We can get a heck of a lot more done on the phone and you'll find yourself a whole lot closer to your goal. Okay, my very top picks for why people are moving to Noblesville. Number nine, Ruoff Music Center. It's owned by Live Nation and it is one of the top five outdoor music venues in terms of ticket sales year in and year out, worldwide. I mean, that's crazy. In 2018, they sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. <laughs> it's just cray cray, man. It seats 25,000 people, and it features a never-ending lineup of top performers. You can even buy a pass for like, I don't know, eight or 10 uh, events during the summertime. My wife and I recently took in a Jason Aldean concert, and when he sang, try that in a small town, the place went wild. Let me give you two pro tips. Number one, buy a Legends parking pass. You get to pull right up to the turnstiles almost, and when you're leaving, you're out of the parking lot in like five minutes instead of 30 and then you're on your way home. Hey, number two, if you're going to catch a bite to eat before the concert, be sure to get 
like 15 minutes outside the traffic pattern. Those two pro tips will greatly enhance your concert experience. They certainly do mine. Number 10 is affordability. The median priced home is $363,000. You divide that by the $89,000 household income, you get a four multiplier. The national average is six times. California is seven, and I hear tell that Boston is like eight times. So your dollars go twice as far here as they do in Boston. An example of what the median price home gets you in Noblesville uh, is 119 Myers Lake Drive. I sold this for Jacob and Stephanie just a few months ago. It sold for 355. It's a 2,788 square foot classic Cape Cod. You walked in and there were gleaming hardwood floors. Stephanie had painted the whole thing really nice. Jacob had built the kitchen cabinets. Built the kitchen cabinets. Now I've built houses, heck, I've built apartments, but I've never built cabinets. That's a special skill and he's good. And then they added countertops and the new appliances and just a whole lot of other stuff. The, the place was really in good shape and, and it showed well. If you want to spend more or less than the median, those homes are here. There's 600 homes on the waterfront at Morse Lake, many of them luxury homes. And there are many more nearby in the golf communities. There's a significant number of homes in the one to two million dollar range. Number 11 is family. A place being good for families, it's, it's not about how many churches or playgrounds there are, although it's easy enough to find those. But it starts with that small town feel and small town values. Yet, yeah, I could run through this whole list that I've already given you, and that's what helps make this a great place for families. And number 12, I'm out of fingers. Hey, my number one reason that I like Noblesville is Morse Lake. It's where my wife and I go every weekend that we can to swim, uh, ski, tube, chill out, putz around, maybe boat up to one of the restaurants, uh, sit outside in the sun and have a cold adult beverage. It gives you a whole different outlook on life and gets you ready for the week. Uh, there's also more uh, park for picnics, uh, a dynamite boat launching ramps, and the two good restaurants are Woofie's and the Boathouse. And hey, if boating is not your thing, don't worry about it. The lake gives Noblesville something of a lake vibe. And who doesn't like lake living? Thanks for tuning in and make it a great day now.